As technology increases our ability to watch and be watched, who knows how this will affect our moral behavior? Even more profoundly, how will growing technology affect our brain's ability to relate to God? As science updates our idea of what the brain is and can do, how might our idea of God change? How will we think of God in the future? Take a look at this picture. Do you see a pyramid sitting on top of three circles? Well, if we flip the circles, the pyramid disappears. There aren't any actual lines making a pyramid. Amazingly, your brain has the power to create the pyramid in your mind just using other visual cues in the graphic. But in the future, could your brain possess even greater powers? At the Advanced Virtuality Lab in Herzliya, Israel, researchers are pioneering technology that will enable us to control computers and even a virtual body using only the mind, a power some might call godlike. The lab actually uses a brain-controlled version of a classic block-breaking video game to advance its research. Want to give it a try? Try using your brain to break the blocks. Concentrate on that red block. I mean, really think about it exploding. Got it? Now, pay attention to the blue block on the left. Good job. Obviously, you're breaking the blocks with a little help from us. But the amazing thing is that with the proper equipment, this is exactly what's possible with today's technology. So a couple of these that I focus on, I find that they kind of disappear once I look at them. By using your vision to pay attention to particular blocks, measuring your brain waves allows the computer to actually bust that particular block. It's just like learning to ride a bike or play the piano. We're on the verge of using our own minds in godlike ways to control our world. Are we at a stage that these technologies are penetrating our minds uh, to this level that human nature is about to change? Is this another step in the evolutionary chain? Does this make us closer to gods? One of my colleagues thinks that we're witnessing the birth of a new religion. Some technologies, such as the fMRI, you can actually try to recognize very specific mental patterns. And then we can make you feel like you're in a different body. Yeah. You can be embodied as someone else. Right. You control this body using brain-computer interface, bypassing your own body. The idea is to allow you to be embodied or re-embodied, either as a, a virtual avatar wow. or as a humanoid physical robot. Then it's the Matrix. Then it's like virtual reality. That's you where can we run going. around. You know, having invented the gods, we can turn into them. Imagine having a virtual you that you could send anywhere, controlling it from a distance with your brain's new godlike powers. With a mere thought, you could create and control any world you want. Amazing. Neuroscience may be coming full circle in its understanding of God. We started off using brain examination technology to study how God and religion affect the brain. And we have moved to using that technology to help the brain create and control its own universe. If we ourselves have avatars that we can manipulate with our minds, if we can create simulated worlds that are indistinguishable from our own reality, then in a way, haven't we become godlike? The question may then be, how much do we believe in ourselves?